Hey guys, my name is Seniak and welcome to what potentially become a new series only if you guys enjoy it called Food Empire. Just look at this game. There is a, a Seniak clone standing right there. But welcome guys, this game is basically Miner's Haven, kind of, but you make food. How can you not love that? So if you do want me to turn this into a series, make sure you hit that like button down below and simply comment, Seniak, you fool, play some more. That's all you've simply got to do, guys. Now, I've played a little bit of the tutorial. When you first join the game, there's this tiny little bit of a tutorial to let you know what's going on and how to play it. And I gotta tell you guys, it's so, so cool. So in my inventory already, I have a dough dispenser. Now, it's not kind it's kind of what you think it is, but it, it also it's not. Now, a, a dough dispenser, you have to put dough inside of it. Now we don't have any dough. He says that you have zero. So we need to buy some dough. Now, when you put the dough in the dough dispenser, it makes bread. It drops bread outside of it. So we got some rusty conveyors. So I place a few of these rusty conveyors down. That should be enough. So you put in the dough, bread comes out, and then once the bread comes out, you need to kind of cook it so we don't place it into a bread furnace, which, uh, look at the fire, the fire, the flames! And that basically turns it into bread, and then we place it into this crate, which then makes us some money. Now I've got $104 already. Seems like a lot, but it actually isn't that much. So we need to go to the shop and I need to buy some dough. So it costs us, the price of it is $5. So let's buy 10 dough for $50. That's a, that's a lot of dough. And we're gonna deposit it inside of our dough dispenser. So deposit all of our dough and then it processes the dough, turns into big lumps of dough, bread shaped. It then goes into the furnace, if you just watch it, turns it into bread, then goes into our crate, and bam! We got $14 for each bread. Cost us five each. How cool is that? This is super sweet, mate. It's super sweet. So, we'll let that continue to what it's got to do. Now, that's just the basic items that I've got. I've got enough, uh, two rusty conveyors left over, to be honest. So um, there's other stuff like bread spices and uh, whole wheat bread. But a lot of it we need to unlock once we get more and more money and more and more XP. Now, this is going to be pretty cool. So what can we buy next then that's going to increase? So here's the rusty conveyors. Pretty slow, conveyor speed 4. Uh, here's the crate, rusty um, sow crate. Nice, increases the value by 4 as well. Uh, we've got the dough dispenser, we've got the bread furnace. What's this next one? A bread slicer. Deposit slices into this uh, this spicer to spice the bread. Uh, that passes through it. Okay, okay. Oh, bread, I thought it said bread slicer. It's a bread spicer. Right, we're going to buy one of those, which means we're actually going to have to buy um, some spices too. Hey, dude. <laughs> right, so we remove this then. Once it goes through there, it's turned into bread. We're then going to place down the bread um, spicer. I love your videos. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Right, and then at the end, we're placing our crate. Bam. There we go. So, we've got the um, dispenser. We've got the spicer. So, let's buy some more ingredients then. So, let's buy 10 of the dough. Bam. Brought it. Spices, they also cost 50 as well, but we buy 10 of those so we can spice 10 pieces of bread. So let's deposit all the spice in that one and then deposit all the dough in this one. So let's see what's going to happen then. I'm quite excited. So here comes the slice of bread. It's got a number on top as well, if you can just about see it. it tells us how many we got left. So will it change the bread once it's been spiced? Ooh, we don't know. It jumps into the um, into the crate quick enough anyway. But that's giving us 24. That's Just by adding in the spicer has increased the values by 10. It's so cool. How is your life? <laughs> Sweet. Sweet. Right, so we're doing good. This is pretty, pretty fancy. 
So what's that? We got some uh, right turns. Nice. Oh, what's this one? Another left turn there. Uh, a bread purifier for some completely unknown reason. People have been complaining, complaining um, about rusting their bread. This purifier cleanses the bread. Increases the value by 1.5. That's, that's good. Um, that means I'm going to have to buy um, a load of stuff. So let's buy, let's just double it. Let's buy 20 for 100. Buy some spice. So let's deposit all that in. All of it, deposit. All of it. Oh, no, and again, deposit all of it. So that's going to get us some money. So we need $500 to um, then get the, uh, the, what was it called again? The bread purifier. And that's going to simply increase the value by 1.5, like, you know, times it by 1.5, I assume. So what's this next one? The bread softener. Wait, no, this one, $500. Bread is supposed to be soft. Uh, use this bread softener to soften your bread to 10 times. Increasing the value only works on bread that has been baked. Now, does that bake it? Uh, bread, yeah, it would be baked. Okay, so it does bake it. Just making sure. Just want to make sure it doesn't roast the bread. <laughs> you never know. You just never know. But that increases the value by 10%. It's a tough one. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see anyway. So how's it going then? How's it doing? It's got 10 remaining. That's quite cool that it's got the, uh, the number on it. Because we actually know how... Oh, it tells us here as well how many um, dough we've got left inside. Which is cool. I'm not sure if we're going to reach the uh, the 500 mark. So what I'm going to do is buy some more. We'll buy another 20 of each. Keep it going. Deposit all. Deposit all. Well, that's going to keep us going. That's going to keep us going so well. There's a guy over there with a big factory going on at the moment, which is kind of cool to see. Uh, right, so. We, we, we're we making the monies. We're making some serious moolah. I would like to know what else we, we could get. We've got um, tiny rusty conveyor. Not bad. Uh, wheat injector. After dispensing a whole weight into this machine, it will inject regular dough pieces that passes through it with her wheat. Ooh, okay. So you put it in wheat and it creates like whole wheat bread. That's not too bad. And we're only starting with bread, so we're pretty interested to see what we get in the next tiers coming up anyway. But we're doing good. Uh, how well are we doing? We've nearly got the 500 smackaroonies. How much dough we got? 14 remaining too. Hmm, not bad. Is it? Do we have the ability to turn it off? Empty machine. We could empty the machine. But we'll see how it goes anyway. So we got the 500 now. I think I'm going to go for the um, purifier first. Just because, you know, it's going to increase the value by times 1.5. Then we get the other one after. So I just want to buy one of those. Not 20. <laughs> Damn it, Jenny Egg. Buy one of those. And uh, I don't think I'm going to have the speed to place it down. So we'll wait. We'll wait. Um, how many's left? Six remaining, so we'll get these six going in, and then we'll place in our slice and see what kind of values we get in there. So at the moment, it's given us $24 per bread. It comes out with dough, goes into the furnace, gets baked, then gets seasoned, and then packed in a crate, and then sent to all the stores to be sold for delicious bread. Everybody wants a bit of Seniac bread. Right, one dough left inside. Zero dough left in size. That's the last one. Coming in. We've got quite, quite a bit of money as well. So we're going to get rid of this crate. And we're going to place in... What did I buy? Oh, yes. The bread purifier. There we go. And then throw in our crate. Nice. So let's buy some more. So... I could, how many is, okay, I can afford 30. Let's buy 30 of that, 30 of that. Sweet, let's deposit all of the spice in the machine. Deposit all of the dough in the machine. So we was getting $24 a loaf of bread. I wanna see what this one does now. So this is gonna be pretty interesting. The bread, oh, there's one piece already coming down. It purifies, it gets rid of that rusty taste. 
and we get in 30, another ten dollars. So it doesn't seem like much to start with, but it, it adds up when you think about it with the amount of stuff that we're going to get coming through this. Um, once we reach 500 again, we're then going to buy the bread softener, which increasing it by 10%, which is going to be cool. Uh, well, so that was the wheat injector. That was the bread <laughs> demolder. Mold is a big prop. Oh, gets rid of the mold on the bread. I thought you meant it demolds it and puts it into like a different shape. <laughs> but that increases the value by 50%. We've got the bread preserve. Now, can we use stuff multiple times? Uh, for example, like this spice here. Um, this can be used to spice the bread twice. Once before baking and once more after. So we could actually buy another one of those. So buy one. Let's deposit, let's empty the machine. It's been emptied, yep. And then how big was that machine? Does it take up one conveyor? I think it takes up one conveyor. So let's place down the bread spicer, which is cool. That's nice to see. So before we go any further then, hold on. So we got 500 now. So uh, you can only bake bread once, gotcha. And the bread slicer, we've got that in. We can only use it uh, twice, which is uh, interesting. This one, this purifier cleanses the bread of its rust. Bread can only be cleansed once. Gotcha, not a problem. But now we've got the bread softener. Only works on bread that has been baked. Okay, it doesn't say how many times we can use it, but we'll buy it anyway. Man, we got, we got quite the setup already. So the bread softener. Did I not buy it? I'm sure I just bought it. Wait, what? What did it say? Alright, did, did I buy it? Why will you not let me buy? Need oh, oh, need over $5 for dough? What are you talking about? Okay, hold on then. Crate. I think it, I think it's stopping you from buying uh, if you in your know, stuff if you have less than five dollars, just so you can always um, just so you can always uh, buy dough after, so you can't go bankrupt. But we we'll see what this one does, just with the extra spice. So there's no, I haven't placed any spice in there just yet, but I'll just get this in just to get some moolah coming in, and then once it gets in, we've got a little bit of money, and I should be able to buy it now. Brought it, place it down, place in the crate. Right, let's empty, oh no, empty the machine. Place in half of my spice in that one. Half of my spice in this one. No, all my spice now, sorry. There we go. And then deposit all my bread. So, we're gonna get some serious value. So 34 dollars was the maximum we got last time. Let's see what we're going to get now then for this bread. Look at the lasers. Oh my goodness. And that's them lasers are meant to soften it. No, demold it. No, no soften it. It's the softener one. S Whoa, ho, ho, day. We got $70 for that. That's crazy. That's legit crazy. With how much money it's getting us there. So what is this next one? That's for 5k. That is so expensive, man. <laughs> Super expensive. Can I get any um, different... What are these worth? They're worth so much money. We don't have that kind of moolah yet. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Right, we got $500 then. So let's buy some... Um, let's see. Let's buy... How much is 50 spice going to be? 250 Let's buy some of that. Then we'll buy 50 of the dough. Right, so deposit half of my spices in that one. Deposit all of my spices in this one. And then deposit all of my dough. You get $70 a time when it goes through both spices. That's crazy. That is legit crazy, guys. Oh my god, we're making so much money. It's like 10 pieces of bread is $700. We're making all the monies. All the monies. So, this then, how does this work? After, de after um, deposit, I can't even say this word, depositing whole weight into, after depositing whole wheat into this machine, it will inject regular dough that passes through, that passes through it with whole wheat. Does that even make sense? <laughs> it will inject regular dough that passes through, through it with whole wheat. 
Dough can only be injected with whole wheat uh, once before baking. Now, this is a basically an upgrader. This is not a dispenser or anything like that. So that is, um, how much is that one again? 5K. It's going to be, it's, it's, it's a huge shout to get um, 5,000 anytime soon. We just got to keep making all the money. We got 1K already, so we're doing all right. We're doing pretty all right at the moment. Now, is there any way I can... Um, we need 75,000 um, XP. How do I know how much XP I've got? Say, no. Inventory, no. Oh, my XP... <laughs> my XP is up here. I've got nearly 4,000 XP. Now I've got 4,000 XP. Okay, okay. Sweet. Um, how are the spices doing? We need some more spice, please, Sediac. So buy loads more. Deposit half in that one, and then all in that one. Yeah, boy. Good stuff. Real good stuff. So nearly at 2k. This is this is looking good. So guys, let me know what you think about this game. Then it it, it is kind of like Miner's Haven, and, and like the bread's kind of like the ore, and you pull it for upgrades and stuff like that. Um, I'm not too sure what's going to happen like in the future when we get to like different tiers and stuff, and we got more XP. But um, it's not doing too bad. It's not doing too bad. So again, if you, if you do enjoy it, guys, make sure you hit the like button down below and just simply let me know if you want to play more. What does it say? Food fresh and organic. Eat at your own risk as it's been in this rusty container. It's super duper rusty. So we've got two Gs now. Still increasing. Uh, let's read some of this stuff then. So uh, we've got the slot of softener here. Uh, it can only be used once. Um, only works on baked bread that has been baked. Okay. I could really have a whole nother setup, like multiple ones at, a, at a one given time. So let's do that then. So it's going to cost me uh, to buy one of these. Buy one of those. How many do we got of these? We got three. Uh, okay, three. We're going to get one of those. Uh, one of those. No, we need two of those. One of those and one of those. Okay, so we're having two setups at one now. This is going to make us uh, so much more money. So let's place you there. And then we, we had three conveyors. Two, three. Did I have three? No, I had two. Okay, so I bought more conveyors than what I need, which that's that's completely fine. I mean, we got so many conveyors now. So next then was the seasoning. And let's place, um, can I place this one here as well? Then we need, bam. Wait, what's this, how I doesn't can go in shop? <laughs> Press F. <laughs> I don't think I know how to play. Bam. Place it down. Then we need the softener. Is that is that lined up? No, it's not even lined up, Seniac, you fool. I can't. Rip. Rip. <laughs> and then finally, the crate. Okay. So we've got 2,000 now in the bank. Uh, we're going to buy all the seasoning. Let's buy, uh, how much is 200? 1K. Okay, buy 200 seasoning. Yes, it's a lot, but we're going to need it. We're going to need it. And 1K of that. All right, good stuff, good stuff. So we'll place him a quarter in that one. A quarter. Oh, no, no, wait. It's basically one third in that one. So it's 50 in each. I've got to do the math right. And then it's. Half in this one, and then it's all in this one. So it's 50. So I can place in 50 loaves of bread that will get correctly spiced. So a quarter, deposit, um, third, deposit. So it's 15 each one. So we're going to get double the money now as it all comes through. This is crazy. I got two little sweet setups. My max food limit at the top there. Just keep an eye on that. I don't think we'll max it out. It's only a short conveyor system before it all goes in. But we're doing super duper good. Look at us. We the bosses. The bosses. 
So that's getting me 70 a time. Um, I did put in 50. So that's 100 pieces of bread. 100 times 7. 7,000. So we're going to make 7,000 just off this, what we've got placed in there at the moment, which is pretty sweet. And that 7,000 should give us enough then to buy our first wheat injector, which we'll, um, we'll be testing out soon anyway. So I think we're going to call it for there, guys, anyway, today. Uh, these guys are chasing me. Run! I'm being chased by Skelton and the guy with Samurai Swords. So I think we're going to call it for there today anyway, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you do want me to turn it into a series, because, again, it's like kind of like Minus Haven. Um, there's all different stuff we're going to be setting up anyway. Hey, hey, guys. And um, so we could do all kinds of little setups and stuff like that. So if you do like it, make sure you hit the like button down below. Simply comment down below and say, Seneaki, you fool. Play some, mo some mood. Play some more of this game. Food Empire. It's looking sweet already. We're at two and a half Gs. What? What? And we'll play some more. That's all you got to do. It's all you got to do. Are you doing a video? He's not recording today. Guys, this is episode one of Food Tycoon. Sh shall I give him the news? Ready? Say hey to YouTube. <laughs> Let's see if they go crazy. Are they going to go crazy? Do they realize what's happened? <laughs> <laughs> Do you realize? Tags. Oh, tags came up. Well, they're going to have to watch the video, I'm afraid. <laughs> Until next time, guys. I will see you all soon. So good. I'm in the box. Goodbye. Yes.